Hello, welcome to Megger's technical support video series, Frequently Asked Questions. In this video, we will review OneTouch OLTC test with the TTRU3. Let's get started. Starting in the home screen of the TTRU3 software, we are going to use the test plan to test uh, a transformer with an OLTC. So let's go ahead and select that option. The software will remember the last configuration you used. Of course, we're going to fill out this section according to the transformer nameplate we are testing. In this case, we can see here in the phase group indicated in the nameplate, we have a YN, YN0 with a tertiary delta. We're not going to cover the delta test, but we're going to put it in the nameplate as that is what the transformer has. So again, we have a star or Y connected wind with a neutral in the primary. Same for the secondary. And we have a Y and Y and zero. So we select that. We have a DETC in the primary as indicated here. Yes, we have our tab labels one two three four five yes and our nominal tab is number three we click on nominal voltage you see it's 230 kb remember the voltage units in the settings in in the software are volts so i fill that out our first tab is 241,500. And our last tap is 218,500 volts. Now for our low side, we see here from the nameplate, we have 33 tabs as it's already indicated. And the labels do match what we have already selected. So yes, our nominal tab is N. Nominal voltage is 34,500. Our first step is 37950. And our last step is 31,050 volts. Again, we do have a tertiary. And that's our delta D1 as indicated. And we do not have tap, so a single position there. Really doesn't matter what label we use. So we'll leave it at A, B, and C. Let's use one, two, and three. Okay, so this section of the test plan is done. Moving on now to the tabs section of the test plan. As I input the voltages or the first and last uh, tab voltages, the software should have calculated all the steps for me. So all I have to do is really check that the calculations are correct. And the reason for me to check is that sometimes certain customers will request from the transformer manufacturer they they round the tab voltages so uh, those steps wouldn't be even or equally spaced so again just make sure that the calculations here in the table match exactly what you have on your nameplate so i can see my second tab is correct Number three, yes. And number four, two to four, two five zero, it is correct. Okay. I tap on this header to go to the secondary tab, uh, secondary tab changer, my OLTC. And I do the same. Okay. So in this case, we're just going to speed up the video as I check all my tab positions against my nameplate.
All right, everything is correct. And I just noticed my tab phase shift is on, so I'm going to turn that off since we don't need it for this transform. Moving on to asset information. This is where I fill out the rest of the nameplate information. So just for the sake of the video, I'm just going to put Mega as the manufacturer fake serial number just to see how that looks in the report and the year we're going to use 2020 we're going to use a three leg core design again this is just asset information so that it will appear in in the report moving on to conditions you can put also my name here as a tester, the reason I can select from a wide range of options. Let's do commission for this one and whether we're going to select sunny, ambient temperature, humidity, again, just testing conditions. At this point, we're ready to go ahead and go to my test setup. In this screen, we're going to set up the first state of the transformer right here. Again, this video is about testing the on load tab changer. So we're going to just fix our primary on nominal voltage, right? Uh, obviously, uh, that's going to vary depending on your case, especially if you're testing a transformer uh, that's been in service for a long time. Typically, you, you can leave or you leave the, the primary on the service position and, and you test it that way. So um, again, I'm, on this example, I'm going to select my nominal tab, which is tab number three for the primary. And I want to tell the software that I want to start at the very top, right? According to my name, blade 16R, 16 arrays. And I want to end at the very last. I do want to test all positions. I can also define the test mode from the different options available. Auto is automatically selected, but I do have the option to change from step up, step down, single and three phase test mode. So I recommend to leave it in auto as the unit will select the best option for the transformer. And then here comes the interesting part about the OLTC configuration. There are two modes of controlling the OLTC from the TTRU3. Auto, as you can See, it's selected now, right? The unit with the physical connection that you have from the instrument to the control panel of your load, load tab changer. And with this pulls and wait times defined or manually. So the software will wait for you to physically press the switch in the top panel of the instrument. Auto, it's a, a, a good solution. All you have to do is give the software the pulse and wait times two ways to do so first one is just manually inputting the times in seconds if you know the tab changer but if you do not you can use the tab timing functionality so you press this icon you get the instructions on screen but basically what you have to do is just press either the up or down uh, button from for that switch in the oltc uh, on the instrument on the top panel of the instrument and when you release the the switch it will capture the pulse time right then you press the tab transition complete button so the software also learn the wait time for the, the OLTC to complete the transition so a little bit of automation as well to learn the the pulse and wait times so I'm gonna leave so I'm going to change it to one second to make it faster. We remember we are running simulation and just two seconds for the wait times again, just to make it a little bit faster. And I'm going to disable the error limited OLTC because that would stop my test in case any t any result is out of the limit established in the settings of the TTRU3 software. So at this point, we're pretty much ready to start our test. So let's go ahead and press 
our play button. Just notice my initial tap is not the very first. So I'm going to test, I want to test all 33 positions from 16R to 16 lower or 16L. So I want to test all 33. So now I'm ready. I'm going to press play. So the unit goes into testing mode. It will perform the first test, primary and secondary 16R. It will automatically do my tab change and the weight, and it will go to 15R and so on and so forth. So at this point, I'm going to leave the, the software to test all 33. We're going to speed up the video and come back when we have a full test completed. Perfect. After the test set finishes testing all the tabs that I indicated, I get presented with the result screen. I have a couple of different ways to view the results. The table view, individually by tab, right, to analyze all three faces on each position, and also my graph. So from here I can just save the results or export to my USB drive. This concludes TTRU3 OneTouch OLTC tests. Visit the Mega YouTube channel for more videos including technical webinars, product overviews and other how-to presentations similar to this one. Contact us for questions or more information about this topic or for any question you may need for your electrical testing.